It's a style that doesn't have a lot of rules and it seems to touch a lot of people's hearts. I started drawing on a chalkboard as early as I can remember. I would draw with that chalk over and over all the things that I would look around and see in the house, plus a horse. <laughs> I drew a horse a lot. That early exposure was just a little bit of freedom of doing whatever I wanted on that chalkboard. Did I know that I wanted to be an artist? I didn't know what it even involved as far as doing something with your art as a career. But in my 20s, I thought someday I want to paint on canvas. You know, things that get you busy, family, children. None of it was really keeping me from jumping in. No one was saying you can't do that. I was just putting it on the back burner thinking, you know, someday. The main career that I had for 50 years was I was a hairstylist. That's a very artistic line of work as well, and definitely the basis of knowing color so well. What combinations make new combinations, how to correct colors. Along with being a hairstylist for 50 years, I also, 20 years ago, started an interior design business called Gen Decor. With that, there was some design and proportion, color combinations, a lot of instinct along the way. Those two things together have been quite a preparation for being an artist. Um, the way the light hits an object, it's always something that I consider when I'm in a room. When I walk into a room that I'm gonna design, I already see it done in my head. And then it's my job to convey that to the client of you know, what we can do with this space. So when I get an idea for a canvas, it's a little bit like that. I almost already see it in my head. Starting at age 67, to finally realize my, I call it my 40 year bucket list, uh, to paint on canvas, I just sketched a little bit of something and started. I had watched some tutorials, realized they were painting on canvas. They were using the chalk paint that I was familiar with for furniture, and I just didn't think there was anything I couldn't do with it. So I approached it with, I'm just gonna paint what I feel, and I was doing it for myself anyway. <laughs> That's how it developed. It actually, gave me permission to get started with canvas because I wasn't afraid of the chalk paint. It was a forgiving medium that you could definitely change your mind a little bit during your painting and nothing had to be perfect and I already knew I didn't want to paint things that were absolute copies. I wanted something that had a little more feeling and a little more texture to it. So chalk paint was perfect for that. I paint what I feel. And when I get an idea, I usually put it in the sketchbook first. I like to see the size and the proportion and imagine. It's a very light pencil sketch with just enough detail to get me going. I am not ever finished with a canvas until I feel this click. All the parts that I've put together, all the color combinations, the textures, the right amount of light coming in on something and it's finally an image that I love, that's the part I like the most. I absolutely do believe that because I waited until I was 67 years old to pick up the brushes and start painting on canvas, I have a much freer approach to painting. I don't know that I'd have been as confident in my 20s to do it that way. If you've been thinking about something that you'd like to do that is creative, carve out some time to do it. Don't wait too long. Go ahead, try it. I didn't try it till 67, but I'm glad I didn't wait till 68. <laughs>